Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome back to the GRE How To Series where we make studying for the GRE a lot more tolerable. As promised, I said that I was going to give you an update on how the Kaplan practice test went. I'm back. I'm officially an MBA graduate, which is so weird, and I am getting back into the swing of things in this new life where I'm studying for the GRE. I've officially set the date, July 30th. That is the day, so I've got two months to get myself up to speed. So, yay. I took the Kaplan GRE practice test and that was an interesting experience because I was taking it with a whole bunch of other people. I chose the live proctored version and I kind of realized that that wasn't the most necessary. Um, it ended up being more of a, a sales pitch, which I get it, I'm, I'm a capitalist, I just got my MBA, like I'm about making money too. Um, but it was interesting to learn about the, the Kaplan resources. It's no doubt really robust, so I have no judgments against it. Good job, go for it. Um, what was helpful is that we did get to go through a couple of the questions that we did on the practice test, and that was great to get a good insight on how Kaplan teaches. Uh, my verdict on it is that I think that with any program, if you're going to do the work in order to study and get a sense of mastery for the test, you're going to be very, very well off when it comes to um, doing that. But if you're not going to do the work and you think that paying you know, a few hundred dollars for this um, test preparation service is going to just magically help you get a better score, it's not, it's really not. I mean, part of the reason why I'm doing this series is because I want to put the work in and I'm not really motivated by losing money. It's weird, um, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a simple fact, you know, to thy own self be true. And I mean, that's me. I'm more motivated by knowing that I'm helping other people than I am by knowing that I'll lose money or I would have wasted money if I, you know, don't do what needs to be done for the GRE test. In a previous video, I mentioned that you get two practice tests for free from Kaplan. That is not true. You actually only get one. So they have two ways of taking the test, but it's still the same practice test with Kaplan. So you don't really want to go and take the same test twice. What you do want to do is look at your performance on the test and look at the answers to the questions and really get a sense of why you chose the answer that you did, what you need to work on, and how you should adjust your approach for the later time. When it comes to the interface of the Kaplan practice test, I do appreciate the ease of use. It did feel pretty realistic. They had a really great calculator that was, you know, pretty much the same thing that you'll see on the GRE. And I thought that the questions were sufficiently challenging. Um, when it comes to the score, I'm definitely in the very beginning of my GRE journey and I'm very average. Very, very average, which I mean, I'm pretty thankful for. I'm starting from the middle of the road. It's, it's better than nothing. I mean, that's why I started this journey. I am not a genius, but I'm a hard worker. And what I do know about standardized tests is that it's very much a reflection on how well you prepared for it and how well you can take tests. So I'm going to prepare for it and try to learn how to take this test. The only way to really get that kind of mastery is through practice. There is really no shortcuts with this. It's, it's just what we need to do, which is great because we can use that as the fuel for our you know, future and take it as a transferable lesson. There aren't any easy ways to get to what we want to do. So why should we start expecting it now? Let's just start getting used to it. My overall verdict is that the Kaplan practice test is a great resource and the Kaplan preparation services do seem like they're robust and they could work with different kinds of situations. So if that's what you're interested in, go for it. This is not a sponsored video. I don't have any codes or anything like that. It's just my unvarnished, unbiased opinion on what their offering is. 
So if you liked this video and if it was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why don't you subscribe? It's gonna be great. There's gonna be like a little button. My face is gonna pop up. You can just press it. Subscribed. Mm -hmm.